morning everybody this is Joyce from Virtual Fundamentals and today we're going to uh, have the first in our video training series and it's going to be on Jing. Now Jing is a free uh, desktop video marketing software and um, it has some very nice features and it's a great tool to start out with if you haven't delved into much video marketing yet. Uh, it does have a pro version, which is, I believe, maybe $12.95 for a whole year. So, again, very, very reasonably priced. Uh, but today we're going to go through the free uh, version, and then we'll go on to the pro version uh, features. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is we need to download Jing. Jing is a downloadable program, which means it sits on your computer, okay, rather than just staying out uh, on the internet. So w Jing is actually a product of TechSmith. I'm going to do this so you can see over here, TechSmith.com slash Jing. And if you can see that right here, that's where you're going to go. Um, and when you do type that in, uh, and you come to the TechSmith home window. Oh, well, actually, if you type in the Jing here, you'll come to this window right here. And you can see TechSmith here and Jing. And I want to just show you the sun right here with all the, the three rays on it. This is what you're actually going to see after you download uh, the product. And uh, you'll be able to put that sun anywhere you want to on your desktop. So go ahead. I've already downloaded it, so I'll uh, pause while to give you some time to do that. And so you can download this by clicking download here or down here in this bar, the two bar down here. So go ahead and download it. It doesn't take long, and um, I'll catch you back up with you in a minute, okay? Okay, we're back. So um, I've just come to our blog page so that we can use this to um, just show you some of the features to do a quick movie, uh, if you will. Now, when you downloaded Jing, you got this sun. Oh, mine's over here on the side. I'll pull it down so you can see it. Here it is. See? And this is what you should have now. And you can put the sun anywhere on your desktop that it's convenient for you. You can put it up here, which up the top or down. I'll put it down here so you can see, see what I'm using. So here's the sun. When you like park it somewhere and you've got your rays here right now the first thing I want to show you is um, not really um, necessarily related to videos but it is I actually like this feature of Jing it's a capture a window feature that's rather like your print screen button on your computer um, the reason I like it better than the print screen button is that it allows you to um, capture pieces of the window just exactly what you want as opposed to the you know the whole whatever is on your your screen and then having to go and uh, to another software to fix that to you know hone it down and it also allows you to put in like arrows and um, highlighting and things like that so that you can in one step really get exactly what you want whether it's for a you know a training capture or, or, or what have you so let me just show you that real quickly okay um, on your Sun if you click on the capture button right here it's got the cross on it I'm going to click on that and you're going to get the crosshairs and this is going to be the same whether you're doing a sta uh, you know a static capture or the movie capture and what you're going to do then is you're going to just take that crosshairs and put the beginning wherever you want to start your capture and then you're just going to drag it to whatever you wish to include okay so we'll just go like right there all right so that's going to be the area that I want to capture now as soon as I release it's going to give me this toolbar with with options on it all right now I do have the pro version so you may not see the exact same uh, buttons on yours because I will have some additional uh, features but we'll we'll try to stick to just what's um, available on yours like you'll see for instance that I have the ability to use a webcam but that's a pro feature right now okay um, and you probably do have this redo selection button. So what we're going to do is, and also notice it gives you the size of the area you selected, which is a very nice feature as well, especially if you wanted to, to get that to, to uh, a particular size for wherever you needed this uh, capture for. So now 
we're going to go ahead and, and not do the movie this time. This is the video one. We're going to just do the capture image. So we're going to click on that. All right. And once we do, it has captured exactly what I asked it to. Okay. And so what I'm going to do, let me just move this down. You can see my capture here now. All right. And let me move it inside here so you can see the things. Okay. Now, see it? I put an arrow over here, and because that's the tool that I had clicked on last. So now I have, I can add an arrow here. I can put in text if I choose. Notice here, I can choose what font, size, all of that. I can do a highlight if I would like to. Get my highlight. Oh, let's see. It's thinking about it at any rate. Not quite sure what happened. So we'll do a highlight and I can highlight you can change the color of whatever tool or the arrow or whatever you're using by clicking on that and so this is a very nice uh, tool for doing uh, say you're doing the training screenshots or, or a particular shot that you want to highlight something and you're going to send to someone to take a look at and you want to make sure they see what you want them to see so it's a nice little feature like I said and um, I use it very frequently but I wanted to just show you that um, so that you uh, know that it that you had that uh, capability. Okay, so now I'm not going to keep this, so I am going to go ahead and undo. I want to not keep it. So where is my toolbar? Oh, here it is. Can't see it down here. Here it is. So I'm not again. Here's my toolbar with things that you probably won't see on yours, but you will have the cancel button, which is the X right here. And I'm just going to click that because I don't need to save that <coughs> screen capture at this time. Okay. So now let's go ahead and create um, our quick movie. Okay. So again, I'm just going to particularly use this my screen here. Now you may have, for instance, a slideshow that you would like to do, to use, which um, you could certainly do that as well. Prepare your slide so ahead of time, then open your Jing, and then uh, just record your slideshow. Um, it's a great tool for that. Just uh, remember that Jing only allows you up to five minutes for your video, and that's both in the free version and in the pro version. So it's for really short videos, most of which you use most of the time, really, because <clears throat> people's you know, video is a great marketing tool because it's very visual and people like that as opposed to just reading something. Um, and But at the same time, again, length is important because they don't want to necessarily have to sit here for an hour unless it's something that's really, um, you know, a, a lengthy training or something. But as a rule, if you're going to just do quick videos, under five minutes is, is pretty reasonable. So again, it's a nice tool for that. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to find our star, our sun rather, and we're going to click the same capture button right here. Okay, and we get our crosshairs again, as I told you that we would. And we're just going to select our area again, like that. Very good. So again, when I release, I get the tool button uh, bar here. And this time we're going to select this button, which says capture video when you hover over it. Looks like the... Um, old film, you know, that uh, 35 millimeter or whatever it is film there. You're just going to click on that. And now when I do that, you're going to get a three second countdown. So you're going to want to be ready with whatever you, you're going to do. Okay, so we're going to just put capture. Three, two, one, bingo. And here we are. Now notice that the uh, moving along the sides here tells you that you are in fact recording. So you can at this point do whatever you want. Um, with your uh, screen, all right? So we're going to do this, and this is all of the you know the blogs that we have put up so so far. This is our blog site, all right? So whenever you're ready, whenever you you're done and you're satisfied with whatever you've had to do, you're just going to go back. Now notice you can pause and restart if you'd like, which I did at the beginning uh, to let you download the program. Um, and we're going to just click stop right now, okay? Because we're going to say we're all done. So we're going to click stop. All right? And what it's going to do then is it's going to give us this preview of what we did. Okay? So let's just move that down. Not that. This. And give me this. 
There we go, just so we can fit that in here for you. Guess I could have made that screen a little bigger, couldn't I? All right, so here we have the preview. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just, let's just click on it to, to show here you. Here we are. Now yeah. notice that uh, moving along the sides here tells you that you are in fact recording, so you can at this point. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, we want to go ahead, and if you see right here, let's say we're happy <clears throat> with the movie that we recorded. Excuse me. <clears throat> got a frog in my throat. We're going to go ahead and name a movie. So you just can call it whatever you want. We'll call it uh, Test 3. I think I have a 1 and a 2. So we'll just go ahead and we'll do that, okay? And now what we're going to do is we're going to save our file. Okay, so when we click on, now again, I have the pro version, so it will save an MP3 for me. And the free version, it saves it as a, uh, an SWF file, which is a screencast, a file, which, uh, um, and, it, and screencast.com is the actual affiliated software where you would save and, um, all of your videos that you create through Jing. And you would just go there. They are a TechSmith company as I say it's affiliated to Jing and you would just create an account again it's free you just sign up and you would be able to go in and see all of the movies that you create okay so we're going to go ahead and name this and we're going to click on save and it's going to open my window and it happens to be on my video folder which is where I save my video files now you can save yours you know wherever you're going to remember that you saved it to okay and mine happens to actually be in my uh, virtual fundamentals folder I'm going to back it up one actually and I'm going to put it in my Jing folder okay so again notice here it's in I've saving it as an mp4 as yours uh, in the free version will be a, an SWF file okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it okay now notice over here it says the capture was saved and the link is ready to be pasted, okay? So now if I were to go up, and I'm just going to choose a new one, and, and just right mouse click in my address bar, see the address bar here, and I go ahead and just click on paste because it told me it already copied my link, and I'm going to just paste that link in, and then when I click go, it's going to ask me, or my setup on my computer whether I wish to open it or to save the file well I've already saved it so we're going to open it and I'm going to go ahead and say okay and it's going to open my file here now, and here it is okay uh, and there's so what we created okay so you can at this point do whatever so you want so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close that your... okay so that's all there is to creating your quick five minute video and to go ahead and save it I mean how easy is that and note that now that you have this link you can go ahead and put that anywhere in an email or whatever you would where you would like to put it um, to send it out to people or to connect people to it however you like so um, I'm just gonna move this over here um, that's as easy as one, two, three. That's all there is to it. You know, I mean, Jing is a really great software for that. So let's go ahead then and do the next step. Okay. So there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Now you can upload your video to YouTube. In the free version, it takes a couple of, of steps, but it's you know it's it's easily done so what you want to do first is I'll, I'll open your YouTube account now if you don't have one again YouTube is easy just go to youtube.com and just sign in it's free okay and once you do that you'll click right here on your upload so once you have your account open you'll click on upload okay and then all you do is click on upload video all right and now when you have to remember where you put your video so now notice it opens the last place I was, which is actually where I stored my video. So you would find where your video is and you can either just click on it and drag it right into the YouTube window. How easy is that? Or alternately, you can just highlight it and 
open, click open, or double click. I mean, any number of methods. So the easiest way, of course, is just to get it and drag it on over. And then it's going to already upload your video. And there we go. And it'll just take a minute or two. And it's going to just upload that for you. And then you'll have it on YouTube. And you can either make it private, so no one but you can see it. You can make it unlisted so that you and anyone you give the link to can see it. Or you can make it public so that it's out there. So that's all there is to uploading it to YouTube. Okay? The other option that you have is... lost my train of thought here. Oh, you can screen, uh, share your video uh, via screencast, which is what I was explaining to you before, that the affiliated software for storing your videos is screencast. So once again, you need to just have a screencast account. So you're going to go to screencast.com and again, sign in with your email and your chosen password. And you will be able to find the videos that you've created, okay? So this is my account on Screencast, and um, I have mine right here is my Jing folder, and I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that. I'll click open here. Double click it didn't work. There we go. And it's going to show me all my content, okay? And these are all of the videos that I've created in Jing to date. And my newest one right here is, well, actually, that says that was from September. Let's see, did my test three come here? It should be here somewhere. Uh, 9 15, 2011, blah, 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 one, two. I guess I had more than one. Test four. Okay, well, we'll take this one, test three. All right, and so here's this video that I created. And now I can get the link for it. I can, again, do whatever I want. I can edit it here. You can't edit um, in Jing. That's the other thing that it doesn't um, have, is that it doesn't have any editing tools, okay? So now along the side here, you can see you can open this. You can click on it to uh, edit it, and so on and so forth. So let's just do this, okay? So you can edit the content properties. So here's your title. You can put in a description. You can put in keywords, the release date, the author. Is it explicit? No. Show the download link to viewers. Show comments on a view page. Upload a different thumbnail. Very limited. Okay, it is. There's not really a lot of editing that you can do with these two uh, particular softwares. All right? And then you can just save it. So this is where your files are and this is where you can also come to get various modes of sharing okay so that's all there is to that so that's uh, about what you can do with the Jing basic as I said a nice um, easy quick software uh, for creating a short video so what I'm going to do is I think stop here and then in the next video, short video, I'm going to just go into some of the Jing Pro features. That it offers a, a bunch of um, tools. In fact, they just came out with some brand brand new tools I haven't even looked at yet. But that does allow you to, to uh, customize some buttons so that you have one-click sharing. Um, it does allow you to get an em embed code. So if you want to take this code and put it into and embed it into your website or your blog or what have you or on Facebook. So it's just got a couple of nice little um, extras. So um, what I'll do is say see you soon and catch you on the next video.